Well, as I say, welcome Croft and Carl from Carl the Crofter, and this is said Croft. Uh, we insight into what you know, goes on here and what generally goes on in the running of a place like this, and hopefully a little bit of an outside perspective for the wildlife and other events that go on in the area. Once again, I'm pretty sure that's lined up. You obviously want to do it, so anyways, yellow one, left ear. So I find the left ear. I check for the ribs and cartilage and any obvious veins to try and avoid them. Um, poor thing's eyeball right there. And once you get in the position, just a quick. That's in. It's our tag there, one ear. And then the next tag, these are also a bit a lot sharper than you would expect. I mean, obviously, they have to be sharp, but. You feel them catch on your finger or whatever, you're like, it's pretty vicious. Set inside the holder, that round end goes in there. It will click as it hits the bottom. Once again, make sure it's lined up. Another the ear. Usually find a second one, they know what's, they, they realise what's coming. And they usually get a little more feisty. Oh. And then I'll cut her loose. Very That's how it's done. Okay. This is Ailey, uh, my young collie. She's approaching two. Got her uh, around a year and a half. She's been training, she's coming on good, she's a fit young dog, very easy to work, reasonably obedient. Not always, are you? But she's a sweet little thing, soft natured. You can't say boo to her without putting her in a mood. But uh, yeah, and she's coming on great with all her different training, basic herding, uh, coming back to me. <laughs> Quite an important one. 